Hi, welcome. My name is Michael, and this rhythm is called Guara Pachangueo. It's a relatively new rhythm from Cuba, invented by the group Los Chinitos. There's a nice documentary on Ju YouTube you can find, and they explain everything, how they invented this uh, rhythm. Um, you can play it in different ways. Uh, uh, Los Chinitos is a rumba group and they uh, decided to leave out the tres golpe. So they used the salidor and the quinto for this pattern. Uh, well, anyway, let's explain the pattern that I've just shown you. We start with an open tone on the salidor, then a fingertip with your left hand on the quinto and an open tone on the salidor again. One, two, three, four. That's the beginning. After this, four bass notes. One, two, three, four. After the four bass notes, again, a fingertip with your left hand and two open tones with your right hand on the quinto. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Okay, after the two open tones, a muffle with your left hand, first the palm, then the fingers, and then a slap with your right hand. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. These notes are all in between the beat, between the beat. Yes. Uh, after the slap, again the four bass notes. One, two, three, four. Okay, after these four bass notes, again with your left hand a fingertip and your right hand one open tone. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. After this open tone, with your left hand, the palm and your fingers, that's it. And then you start all over again. One, two, three, four. This was the beginning again. So this is the whole pattern. Uh, well, you probably have noticed that this pattern is not only one clave, but two. The duration is two claves. So it's a longer pattern than normal. Um, what uh, the Los Chinitos tried to, uh, or tried, they wanted to have more interaction between the salidor and the quinto. So when you are looking at the tape, uh, at the video that they have made, then you will notice that they have a lot of interaction between the salidor and the quinto. They, it's co a constant question and answer, question and answer. That's what they like uh, to, to do. And uh, it's like a new way of playing rumba, actually. That's how they explain it. Okay, I will play the pattern in a slow tempo. <laughs> Slow tempo. One, two, three, four. This is the pattern. So, I can advise you to look at the tape or uh, the video from uh, Los Chinitos. And <coughs> if, you know, uh, if you want to know more about how to make variations and uh, you want to have some inspiration, then also look at the Guarapachangueu that uh, Panga is showing. 
because he is doing a lot of variations and it's really nice. Okay, I hope... Uh, oh, no, uh, there's one thing I have to explain again. <laughs> I forgot to, uh, to mention. The beginning of the pattern, it's a 3-2 clave. Because it is from rumba, they use the same clave as in rumba wawanko. Like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one. That's the clave, and they also use the pattern for the kata. The takat, katakat, 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 or the other one. The ta ka ta ka ka ta 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 ka ta 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 ka ta 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 ka. Well, you you've heard it in the beginning when I played the rhythm. Okay, I hope you have some fun with this rhythm and good luck with it. See you. Bye bye.